The Lion King, Little Lion, Big Dreams, in the heart of the African savanna, a small lion cub named Leo was born into a bustling pride. From the moment he opened his golden eyes, he was curious about the world. While the other cubs loved to nap under the shade of the tall acacia trees, Leo was always running, climbing, and asking questions, why does the sun set? Leo would ask his mother, Nia, so the stars can light the night, she would reply with a loving smile, but how do the stars get up there? He'd persist, Leo's curiosity made him special, but it also got him into trouble. One day, while exploring a termite mound far from the pride, he tried to climb the mound's peak. The mound crumbled beneath him, and he tumbled into a dusty heap, Leo. Called his father, Kanu, the strong leader of the pride. You must stay close to us. The savanna is full of dangers for a cub like you. But I want to see everything. Leo said, his tiny chest puffing with determination, Kanu chuckled. One day, little one. But for now, you must learn patience. Leo didn't like waiting. He wanted to be like the big lions, running fast, roaring loud, and hunting with skill. One day, while pretending to stalk a grasshopper, Leo overheard two older lions talking, Kanu will lead the pride for many seasons, but one day, we'll need a new leader, said one, do you think little Leo has what it takes? Asked the other. Laughing softly, Leo's ears drooped. He wasn't big or strong like his father. How could he ever be a great leader, that night, under a sky blanketed with stars, Leo sat beside his grandmother, Zuri, why the long face, cub? She asked, nudging him gently, I heard the others, Leo admitted. They don't think I'll be a good leader. Zuri chuckled, her voice soft like the breeze. Leadership isn't just about strength, little one. It's about heart, courage, and knowing when to listen. She looked up at the stars. Even the smallest star can light the darkest night. The next day, a loud roar startled the pride. A herd of wildebeest was stampeding, heading straight for a trapped zebra foal. The lions froze, unsure of what to do. But not Leo, without thinking, he dashed toward the foal, leaping over rocks and dodging the thundering hooves. Using all his might, he roared, not as loud as his father, but loud enough to catch the foal's attention. He led the foal to safety just as the herd passed, when Leo returned, the pride cheered, your roar was small, but your courage was mighty, Kanu said, his voice full of pride, from that day on, Leo's dream of becoming a great leader felt closer. He might be little now, but he knew he had what it took, a big heart, a brave spirit, and dreams as endless as the savanna sky.